No capture. All right, gentlemen. Not their uh, so our next topic is still about road rehabilitation, but this time in Ibadan, your state capital, southwest Nigeria, is most times plagued by traffic congestion. The reprieve has come the way of road users and residents of the city. The administration of Governor Shei Makinde has embarked on city junctions improvement projects to ensure the flow of traffic. Some of the projects executed by Governor Makinde in Ibadan include the overhead bridge at Akobo and completion of Idiakwe Basharun Akobo dual carriageway to the second gate of the second mechanized division of the Nigerian Army. The junction improvement works on Agodi Gate, Odifer Road were inaugurated on Friday, the 22nd of March. Thank you. You know, in 2019, Governor Shea Day showed himself to be a governor in a hurry to deliver on his mandate. At that time, it was a mark in the that everybody was talking about because he appeared to uh, constitute a fresh breath of air. And people were praising him. Uh, this is the governor to beat and all that. Invariably, people like Governor Zulum came into the picture when he delivered um, mega schools within 100 days of his administration. And people started saying, ah, wow, this one, this one is a beast too. How do you deliver giant mega schools within 100 days? It's made a habit now. In 100 days, you will see numerous projects, things that others don't finish in years. That man in Bono State, would deliver in a hundred days to the point that even uh, Vice President Kashim Chetima was asking, are you saying you, you finish this hospital in hundred days? And he said, yes. You know, that is um, uh, by, the, by the way. The point that one is making is that governors who make, their, make up their minds to work for their people, they will work and people will see what they are doing. No one in his right senses, will look at even these pictures, these drone shots, and not say this is good, and not say this is evidence that someone is working. Because you can see travel time will reduce drastically yes. when you expand the roads, and you see the, the, the traffic signals, the signs are there, making it look like a really modern road. When we travel out of the country, we see these things. And it is possible to give our people this sort of a, a dividends of democracy. You see, when I saw some of the roads, my mind went to the road construction that they flagged off, that Governor Shea Makinde flagged off last Friday, 32 kilometers. That road is named after Senator Rashidi Adewo Lula Doja, you know, the big uh, political masquerade of Ibadan politics, or your state politics, because <laughs> once you take out <laughs> the, um, the Ibadan votes, once you dominate the Ibadan votes, you have won the election, because there are not less than 10 local governments. So that road, terminates along the road that leads to Ife. What Mark Inde has done is what others before him didn't do, to save people from wasting needless time okay. along the war road and the rest of them. Take them, if they have no business inside the city, take them outside the city through a circular road. That road is a circular road. It takes you all the way to Ife Road. You've cut out Ibadan travel because whether you like it or not, because Ibadan is such a monstrous city in size, it is still unmatched in our country and in West Africa. If you are coming to Lagos, the time that you spend in Ibadan, in traffic green lock, and you are calculating it, you see that you spend more than one hour, you can't escape it. 
either when you are going or when you are coming. So he's found a way now to build a circular road that will ease all of that pain, takes you out of the city, takes you around. You are heading to uh, maybe leisure or anywhere. Just, you are just going on your way. You have no business, you know, getting into traffic at the war road and all that. And beyond that, he has also, with this ju uh, junction uh, improvement works, traffic around the war, uh, war road, um, Agodigate and all others, have, uh, the, the travel time has reduced because the roads have been widened so people can move freely. And it's, it's a pleasurable ride now for, uh, for motorists, as you can even see in that uh, uh, video. So Civic Center, Idiakbe Junction, Agodigate, all of those places now, drivers are experiencing a new lease of life because the roads are wider and traffic is moving smoothly. It, it, it was painful when they were constructing these roads. It was painful. But you can see people are getting the dividends. And another thing, even people that they removed from the streets when they were constructing the okay. he has constructed 700. So looking at the civic hmm? center idea. Yeah. yeah. So it's now they've constructed, I mean, 700 uh, lock-up shops for, for free. They are going to give those who used to trade by the roadside. This is good governance. It's not enough to just... Um, rob people of their means of livelihood. You have to provide alternatives to them. You don't want street trading because street trading clogs the, the, the road uh, and it even allows uh, crimes such as uh, um, uh, carjacking and others to take place. But now the government is providing shops for them for free. Those that they are taking, were taking off this uh, agodigate and all, all that area. So uh, providing um, local shops for free. So I can only commend this governor for the work that he has started. I can't wait for that Rashidi Adewo Lusaikula road to be completed because for us who use this road going to our own uh, towns and all that, that nightmare especially during festive seasons, when the road gets blocked, challenge will be blocked, the whole road will be blocked. Mm. We know now that once that road is completed, that circular road, it takes us away from the regular nightmare on those highways. So kudos to Engineer Shima Kinde for that thoughtfulness of coming up with this uh, idea which will definitely change the face of Ibadan. All right, Sikian. So uh, if you even consider how the metro area population of Ibado continues to expand or increase massively, this is a good step in the right direction. Yes, you know, when we were growing up in primary school, we had, when you asked one of the questions you asked uh, during Geography and Free Government, which is the largest city in West Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> because you remember that said. <laughs> there are songs now. Yes, now. There are songs. They used to sing. Yes, you know. Yes. Ibadan is the largest. Ibadan is, is large. I know this very well because for four years I, was, I lived in Ibadan during my uh, law program. And I know that Ibadan is a very, very big city, very, very large cosmopolitan. Um, but to a large extent, I think successful government in uh, Ibadan. To a large extent, I've also been able to do site, especially in the area of roads. You can also give it to late Akala, Alaw Akala, um, the former governor of um, um, of um, Oyo State. He did some road. In fact, there is a particular road. If as you are entering Ibadan, if you get to that after the uh, toll gate, as you are entering to your right is Lee City University. You have a turning that leads you to challenge. Then the other side is a label. There is a road that is called a label. That is now has been renamed Alawa Kala Road. If you see what they've done on that road, you think that is a road that you see in Abuja and uh, or Lagos. Fantastic. Well, well tired. They've put uh, street lights. I think it started before uh, the current governor. But you will see that it takes you straight to the end of that road. That will not lead you to um, Abekuta, one particular road that leads you to Abekuta and the rest of them. You, know, you come to see that from Ibadan to Abekuta, from, from that as it takes you just about one hour. No. Then also the inner route. What I have always said is that governor, good governance, 
has no political colors. You don't have to be in APC or PDP or SDP or Labour Party. Uh, he has no, a good a good leader is a good leader. Put him in, in, in anywhere, he will deliver. What should he there is, he, he, at the point, he was also being started as a Mr. Project, just like during the days of week and rest of them. But not just him. Go to Abia. Something is happening in Abia presently. The current governor of Abia, Governor if you see what that man is doing in the state. I'm not from Abia, I'm from Imo State. But I've seen some touches. In fact, there's a road. The, the, uh, part of the problem that Abia has always had from entry from the Imo State as is, is that very narrow road leading into. In fact, when, when you enter Umaya before, it's like a, to me, it's a glory, it was a glorified village. Umaya, the capital city of um, Abia State. Abia State. But you mean this man came, when you think that there won't be road, he has been able to expand that road there. If you're coming in, dualize it, um, um, houses were demolished. And what I heard was that he made sure that he paid compensation to everybody whose house was demolished. Because that is always the problem. They come, demolish your house, and say they will compensate you. Know he, he made sure that he compensated all of them and reconstructed that place, if you see that. that so it is good governance, and go Governor Shane McIndy is Shane is. It's not only in roads. There are also basic infrastructure that if you go to your state, the your state that was about, the bad, let's say even, uh, let me not say your state, let me say the Badon that I knew. In Badon, that was about four years. The Badon I met four years is different from what I'm seeing now. The, the, and, the governor is also talking about uh, the first major international uh, tourism summit. If we talk of or your state, let's talk of Ibadan. We need to know the history of Ibadan. The first television in Africa was where? It's not Ibadan. It was Ibadan now. The first university in West Africa, was it even uh, yes, in West Africa or in Nigeria? UI. It wasn't a bad one. The highest, highest, the most, in those days, the highest story building in the whole of uh, Nigeria or West Africa was Koko House in the Bado. And you have always known that the Bado has been the seat of power for the Southwest in those days, mm -hmm. the days of fashion group and the rest of them. So Ibadan is what Ibadan is what Kaduna is for most part of the North. It's for what Enugu right. is for Southeast. But the fact that I say is, what I'm trying to say in essence is that Governor Mackinde is the, he's a member of PDP. He's not APC. He's not a, the fact is that when you have leadership, just like what the man in Bonu is doing, fantastic. Despite the fact that you have a whole lot of challenges in terms of security in Bonu State. Mm. But if you go to Bonu State and the kind of school that this man builds, you, you continue to ask how much do you get from IGR, from federal government, everybody, uh, no, sorry, you get from federal um, coffers every month. Bonu State receives one of the lowest in terms of, um, um, uh, in terms of um, money that comes from the center. But you see what the government is doing. But there are some states that cannot even, some states that receive uh, within the top three, they cannot even pay salaries. And is that, is, 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 is that not funny? There are some states, if you look at the papers today, there are some states, I don't want to mention their name. There are some states that are within the third five, within the, in terms of what they receive from Abuja, every month, but they can't still pay that, just minimum wage of 30,000 naira. It's very annoying. All right, gentlemen. Uh, let's move on to some political.